What's going on guys, Kevin Fox here from Fox Fishing 4K. So you guys wanna catch some more bass and walleye? This is the video for you. Let's get right into it. All right, so starting off, let's start with bass. You wanna catch bass, you gotta know where they are. 99% of fish are in 1% of the water. Yes, I said it, almost every single fish in a, let's say you're looking at a pie shape this big, your lake is this big. All of the fish are gonna be in areas smaller than the size of my thumb. You think they're on the green weeds? Uh, wrong. The green weeds are dead, man. Late October, those fish are moved. They're pushing out deeper. They're on structure. If you're on smaller lakes up north, check out your fallen trees, your logs. If you're on a big body of water like I am on Georgian Bay, you're looking for big structure, deeper shoals. As these fish push out, especially smallmouth bass, they're gonna hang on to big boulders. So I'm from Penetang. I'm gonna show you around here. Like here's Pine Islands, uh, the Watchers, stuff like that, 12 Mile Bay. If we're gonna zoom in on this, let's go in. Here's another key, okay? Everywhere you see a red can, like here, here, uh, I zoom way in here, all these red cans, red can, green cans, they're marking channels. These channels the fish are gonna use for highways. They will follow these channels and they're gonna stage up on one of these points or shoals. So if you see some red cans, stop at it, fish that shoal, check it out. One of those shoals is going to hold 99% of the fish for that area. So let's we zoom out again. Look at, someone's even got a pin on this. Someone's got a fish right here, they got a pin right here on this shoal, C-157, this green marker at 12 mile. Go check it out, guys. And whoever's putting public markers like that on Navionics, uh, I'd definitely check your settings. <laughs> you don't wanna be sharing that kind of stuff. But what's gonna happen is these bass, bass, they've pushed in, they fed on bait. Now they're starting to push deeper. They're getting ready for their winter homes. As they slide out, they're gonna sit on these points, these islands, these shoals, because they're getting ready to push deep to hibernate. They're gonna go real deep, some of them like 80 feet. They'll lay on the mud, their fins will sit there and they'll just hibernate. And as you get later into the, the season, end of November, you will even see the bellies of some of these smallmouth. Like you can see the mud on them. When you start seeing that, they're really getting close to hibernating. So this is how you can do it. Get out, get some bass. I'm gonna show you a quick clip of us now late October doing exactly what I'm saying and putting some fish in the boat. Let's go. Yeah, there you go. There he is, Bob. This guy's hooked up. That's better. Now you're feeling good. That's the way. Don't reel while it pulls drag. So reel down, lift up. There. Now reel down. Wow, that was sick. Big bass. That's a big small one. <laughs> yes, sir. Hold that up, grab by the lip. There we are. First on the board. Take it. Beautiful. Choked it. Scott's hooked up again. One after another. This one feels heavier than the one before. Choo! Woo! Another solid fish. Another nice one. And look at Perfect. that. That's a small, it's huge. Yeah, he's not that big, dude. Like a four. It's not even that big. Connor, drop down for this other fish. As you guys can see, this time of year is really, really good for catching bass. It's great for catching walleye. These fish are moving in, they're feeding really heavy. Uh, on this particular instance, we are using minnows, but you can also drop shot with a small plastic like a Stealth Invader or a Hazdong or a Spark Shad. Get out there, try some of these shoals, check out some of these points and be one of the anglers that are actually looking forward to the fall and getting on a ton of fish and big fish at that. All right, guys, hopefully this helps. Leave some comments down below and be sure to watch the next video because it's going to be all about breaking down walleye. All right, let's go. Woo! See you guys.